All right, yeah. D Shap of the Morning for this Monday. Welcome, Mr. Eric. How you doing? Good, good, good. Good morning. How you doing? Yes. How's everybody doing out there? Great. Started off the week uh, with Eric, of course. We have a great show on this motivational manic Monday, I call it. <laughs> always motivational. Always motivational. Yes. So, so, so you have a uh, you have a court date this week, don't you? Huh. Yes, I do. I have a court date coming up this Wednesday at at nine thirty. Nine thirty. It should be about nine thirty this Wednesday coming up. Um, I'm trying to get my sentence reduced based on, um, you know, I was given a probation violation sentence to serve sixteen years. Well, I've been on probation since I was twenty years old, and the thing that I was on probation for occurred when I was nineteen, as I was telling you. So, you know, this Rhode Island, uh, there's been studies shown after I was sentenced to my violation term, Rhode Island has the, Rhode Island was the third highest rate of probation in the nation. Uh, black men were on probation more than two times that of any other race. Uh, one in every six black men in the state of Rhode Island was on probation or parole. So it had, it had the statistical effects on the minorities. You know, I was one of those guys that got swept up in that in that in that current a wave of people that was given their high high and long probation sentences. You know, my situation is almost like a Meek Mill situation if you if you remember his his case. Yep. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, I did you know the judge already said he wanted to give me he wanted to reduce my sentence based on my rehabilitative efforts that I have taken since I've been incarcerated. But he's hung up on a few things because the uh, prosecution and the a attorney general's office has been misleading the court and giving him false information as to I cannot reduce my sentence or I agree not to reduce or modify my sentence, which I did not. So hopefully when we go in there Wednesday, we could try to you know hammer out the discrepancies and I could put it on a record and hopefully the judge sees it for what it is. You know, because I've been, I've been incarcerated way too long. I've been over sentenced. In, Way too in, long. In yeah. So, yep. so, 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 if the judge is good, do you, do you always have the same judge? By the way. Well, no. The judge that I originally sentenced me uh, passed away in two thousand and two thousand and four, probably like a few months after I was sentenced by him. Sure. And um, then you know this judge, his he was assigned to my violation of probation sentence. Uh, to do my violation of probation in 2014. So when I went to him in front of him for the hearing, after losing the hearing, he gave me 60, he gave me the, all my suspended sentence that I had left. And then mind you, they dismissed the charges for which they violated me for. So in all actuality, I'm serving a violation sentence for a charge that no longer exists. You know, so th that's yeah. the way the system, that's the way the cookie crumbles here and, and, and the great state of Rhode Island. So this judge, have you seen this judge before? Is this a new judge? No, I've seen this. I've seen this judge before. His name is Judge uh, Daniel Procassini. I've seen him before. And, uh, you know, he, he seems like, a, I've, even though he gave me all the violation time, I still think, I still have faith in him. And I think he's a good man because I've dealt with him on other occasions. And he has been graceful. He has shown me respect. And like I said, he's, you know, I really believe he's a good man, you know. He, he was a defense attorney prior to becoming a, uh, uh, a judge. And, oh, you know, really? That plays a factor. Yeah, that plays a factor into things. Because usually when you get some of these judges that has, that were prosecutor, but that was prosecutors prior to becoming a judge, uh, judges, they still have the prosecutorial <laughs> mentality to, you know, continue to prosecute in a way they have that way of thinking not saying all of them because i don't want to put them put a blanket statement on all of them but the majority of them that i've dealt with has that train of thought so your lawyer your lawyer could fight and get you out like if everything goes your way this tuesday or this wednesday right march 1st right um, um yes. if everything goes your way you could possibly be eligible for parole by when well, if everything goes my way, uh, I don't think I I think he's I don't know if he's gonna make a decision on that day, 
I think he's going to want to bring me back in and then give me a decision, or he might make a decision that day. But if everything goes good, I already was I was already eligible for parole last year, but if everything goes good, I, could, I have a possibility of walking out of here within the next few months, or, you know, it depends on how much he's willing to reduce my sentence. I could walk out that day. You know, it's all up to the judge. So if I ask him to take, I'm asking, what I'm trying to shoot for is to ask him to reduce my sentence by 10 years. If he does that, I have nine, almost nine and a half years in. That's equivalent of serving about a 14 or 15 year sentence if you add in my good time and everything like that. So, um, you know, I'm hoping and praying if he's willing to reduce it by 10 years, I can, I could go home within a couple of months. Wow. So so that that'll be something. That'll be something. So th so then once you go out, you're on probation, right? Eventually you go out, you, you're on probation. And then do you uh, like I know Buddy Sancy when he got out of jail, he had to go to a halfway house. Do you go to a halfway house too, or can you just go wherever you want to go? Well, I can I could go as long as I ask my parole office. I don't have there's no halfway house in the state of Rhode Island, only for the federal federal uh Oh for the federal uh, like Buddy CNC was. Yeah, only the federal system has a halfway house. Uh we don't have a pre release uh, house here. I could go home if I you know, wherever I wanna live I can live once I'm released. You know, okay. The only thing I will be on is probation. Yeah, the only thing I will be on is probation. It's now it's different from parole. So I will be able to be, you know, home with my loved ones, my fiance, you know. Stuff like that. That, that is cool. Yeah. That is cool. Um, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a female up here. Um, 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 uh, I'm working on getting one of my ex girlfriends up here. And if anything goes well, we can have a double date if you get out and I get, get my girl up here. If, if, that, if all the star, stars align, we can have a double date. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, we're going we're gonna to have, you know, have a good time when I come home. Oh, I'm telling you. Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have a good. We're gonna have a good fun. You know. Yes. I, I would like. I, 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 I know. I hope. Um, Wednesday. You know that with your schedule and everything. I hope that you'll be able to come down. And Nine thirty like the morning. And, Nine thirty the morning. Uh, uh, no, it starts. It probably won't start till about you know ten o'clock. You know, but you know you could call my. You have my fiance's number. You can always text her and. You know, meet her down there. They're all gonna. I'm gonna have. I'm having several people go. I've already told my attorney that. You know, there's a possibility that I would like you to come and record the record this whole sure. thing. So that way, it, sh it shows. It shines a light on the transparency, and it also gives the viewers out there a look into the criminal justice system from firsthand. You know, from 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 a close up, a better a better view of what's going on from. From a different perspective, you know, yes. and the best perspective, like Ryan B. Well said, is, 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 is transparency. You know what I mean? When you shine a light on it, it's the best disinfectant that you can have, and it's easier for you know when they, if I have that support system in the courtroom, because a lot of guys don't have that. You know, you go into court here, you know, you don't have your you only your mother can't make it; she's probably sick. Your father can't make it; he's probably sick. Or you know you probably got one of one person there for you, or you some people go in there with no support, so it's easier for them to turn you down and you know deny your motions, deny your things. But when there's when you have a support system there, showing that you know you have people that actually have their eyes on the situation, it, I think it lends more of a it lends more of a balance and it allows the court and it allows everybody to you know do the right thing and you know if. If somebody's entitled to relief under the law, it allows the court to do that because there's transparency there. There's people's there's eyes on it. So you know, I, I, what well, my wife. Uh, what what what, what no what what court building is is going to be? So 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 if <clears throat> if anybody wants to go down and support you other than me, what what court building will it be? What courthouse will it be? It will be uh it will be in the Providence Superior Courthouse. Providence Superior Courthouse. In downtown. Yeah, downtown Providence. So that's uh, near, that's near um the east side, right? Yeah, yes, that's right downtown near the east side. It's right downtown. Okay. It's uh, yeah, it's right. It's actually, it's, you know where RISD is. It's actually right across from RISD. RISD. Okay. So yeah, I know where that is. The the big court thing. Oh, I I never been in that building before. Um, so that will be something to j just to see what it's like and. And, and, and then and then and then I get to hopefully meet you in the room and 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 and, and give you a nice hug, right? Hopefully, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I go, I I I, I clean up. I, I 
clean up nice, you know. Yep. I go there, I, I present my, you know, I present myself. I'm gonna also be speaking on a record soon. So, like I said, I would like for you to come because, you know, there's some of the things that my lawyer wants me to address with the judge. There's some questions that the judge wants to ask me. So, I will also be on the record, you know. Because, I, 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 like I told you before, I do sort of a, not a hybrid res representation, but I am technically lead counsel and my lawyer's co-counsel because I have always represent myself. But in this sure. situation, I've took more of a back seat and allowed my lawyer to, uh, you know, to address the situation. But there's things that I know more that about the case, more than I can explain to the judge than my attorney can. So he wants my, the judge wants me to come and get on the record and they want to ask me some questions. And, you know, we proceed from there. So that's so cool I because like that. I can be relevant too because you, you've been an active, active voice on my radio show. And on our radio show, and your segments, of course, you know now, and 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, you're on most sometimes more than my other co-hosts. Are. <laughs> so you're you're a regular member of this radio show by now. So so I can be relevant to the case if 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 he wants to ask me something, you know, and, and say I, I can say, hey, he, he he's an avid member of my radio show. He's telling avid great information to my viewers. And and, yeah. and 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 you you seem like a good role model to my fans out there. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. because you're you're what you're doing is you're doing some great stuff. Because and you're being punished for it sometimes for for speaking out. And and, and that's that sacrifice there. Yeah. Well, you know, I you know, I, like I realized that. People have a people have a different view of people in prison, you know, uh, uh, and this way it gives people out there a, a ability to think to to show that we're not all, you know, everybody's not all unredeemable. You know, we have we do have, you know, we do have those that do wrong things, but a person's decisions that they made in their past don't always mean that who that is defined that defines who they are moving forward in the future. You know, and I, like I said, I've shown this judge these the certificates of the programs that I took three years ago, and he came to the conclusion that I took the appreciate the fact that I took the steps to rehabilitate. But look at what I've done since then. I have, I have created a foundation to push for criminal justice reform, prison reform. I filed a, 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 a petition. I filed letters with the governor, the, the director, and the attorney general and attorney general Peter Narona to try to get us better uh, rehabilitative programs in here, to give us real deal vocational training programs so that way they can set guys up to stop recidivism when they get up. So I have taken, I've put in the work, you know, and I continue to do it as you, as you know, as you just seen, I couldn't use the phone for two weeks. You know, uh, I've been booked, I've been retaliated through parole. I've been, you know, there's a lot of things that they've done to me since, since then, you know, so, but I continue to fight, so, because I believe in my heart, what I'm doing is right, and sure. I, I want to show I want to show people out there in this world that it's not just you know everybody makes mistakes, but they can always change. They should always deserve a second. Now, sometimes it might not take a second chance. It might be a third chance. It might be a fourth chance. But people do get it right. You know what I mean? And and, and that's what that's what's most important is once you get it right. Let like Michael Jackson's old like song. Let like Michael Jackson's old song. Make a change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like they said, you can fall down many times, but it's how much it's how you get up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. So I, I believe I truly believe, holy hardly believe in that. And hopefully this will reflect on the court when I go on Wednesday, this will reflect on the court and they will actually see that I've actually uh uh you know, that I'm doing the right thing. Um we're trying to figure out uh I've talked to my attorney to try to figure out how do we go about getting the you know, cause I would like you to document, I would like you to video document everything. So the viewers out there can actually go on a website or, and get a look at the whole proceeding, get a look at how things actually work within, 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 you know, the intricacies of the justice system here in Rhode Island. You know? Sure. You know, so that will, give them, that will give them a good, so I will, Rika's going to call you, she's going to call you and she's going to, she's going to call the media department for the call and see how they can set it up, how you, I'll let you two run the logistics on that sure. and see how we can get it, uh, you know, get it set up. I talked to the attorney, but he said he doesn't know how it works, and you have to. There's a press place that you could call for the for the uh, for the courthouse. That's cool. That information. 
That's cool. So, so that, that that's cool. So, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 going to be something to see. I mean, I've seen other 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 things in the court because I went to court myself for my divorce. I went to court for other things. I mean, I mean, I got arrested a few times too for domestic violence. Of course, in the past, with 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 <laughs> people in the past, <laughs> um, um, and, and, and of, of of course, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not ashamed to say. I mean, I mean, I got a fight with my ex-wife's wife before, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then, and then of course, I, uh, um, 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 because we're all living together back in the day. I mean, I don't want to go into that detail, but of course, domestic violence happened. It happened with my sister back in the day. I went to court back in the day. I mean, I mean, now me and my sister are good now, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 the, and the great thing is when, when I got arrested for that one day, you know what I'm saying? When I went to my, what do you call it? I, I, I went to, um, uh, um, um, what do you call it? Um, anger management. Oh my God. It's so rehabilitation. Okay. I, I went to rehabilitation in Rhode Island in Georgia. Okay. And, 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 and some, it's very therapeutic, very therapeutic. I'm telling you, sometimes it's, it's, it's a blessing just to see what it's like, you, you, you know, just to scare your own ass, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and go through, and go through that because, because, and then, of course, the last time I got arrested wasn't for domestic violence. I got do, I got domestic violence twice from my sister and my ex-wife's wife. Not my ex-wife, my ex-wife's yeah. wife. You know, <laughs> yeah. and 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 then I got, I got arrested for suspended license. You know, um um um, yeah. and it was only suspended for a week, but um you know, so oh oh what happened then? Anyway, D. Shabba morning. Um um um, Eric. I hung up if something something had that happened, but anyway, D. Shabba morning. We'll do more entertainment news now. Coming up here um, on um, um, D Shuffle Morning. More to come now on this fine Motivational Manic Monday.